what's up mystery game all right so before we get started you guys please subscribe to my channel i'm gonna be posting new content every week i try to post weekly you guys and i'm gonna try to continue to post weekly up until the holidays let's get into this store oh before we get into the story hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you notify every time i post a new video and let's get into this story So today, you guys, we're going to be talking about Kristen Gilbert. Now, this case is really, really old. I think it's from like the late 80s, early 90s. Um, it's a really, really crazy case, you guys. And basically, it's about a nurse. Now, Kristen Gilbert, she was born on November 13th, 1967 in Fall River, Massachusetts. Now, she was the oldest of two daughters. Her dad was an electronics executive and her mom was a stay-at-home mom and a part-time teacher. Now, when Kristen entered her teenage years, her family noticed that she started literally lying about everything. Like, she was a habitual liar. And not only that, you guys, she started to fake suicides. Like, her family had to put her in this mental institution because she just started doing a lot of weird things. Now, you guys, despite going through all of these crazy things, suicide attempts, like literally habitually lying, she still graduated with a nursing diploma and she became a registered nurse in 1988. Now, later that year, she met her husband, Glenn, and she married him. Now, in 1989, she joined the staff of the Veteran Affairs Medical Center, basically the VA in Northampton. She was even featured in the magazine VA Practitioner in April 1990. So, you guys, she was a very, very good registered nurse. She was even, like I said, mentioned in a magazine. She took care of these patients. Now, if anybody know, the VA is basically where veterans go to get taken care of. So, these are people who were in the military you know older people retired people things like that so she basically was taking care of military people now you guys in the beginning she was doing an amazing job like i said she was saving a lot of people she was basically just doing her job but you guys nurses started to notice a change in her patients she started to have a lot of deaths and a lot of patients that died from cardiac arrest now, at first, they made a joke and they called her the angel of death because, you guys, sometimes things happen and some nurses just have not a lot of good luck when it comes to patients and dying and stuff like that. So at first, they joked it off and they was like, OK, well, Kristen, a lot of your patients are dying. You know, we just going to call you the angel of death. So that was the nickname that she had at the VA, you guys. But then they started noticing a lot more patients starting to die. Now, you guys, not only did a lot of her patients start to die, they noticed that the epinephrine was missing. Now, epinephrine was a medicine used to treat allergic reactions, but if it's used in a lethal dosage, it could be deadly. So after the other nurses was like, okay, so a lot of her patients are dying and we're missing this deadly medicine that could only be used for certain things, they started putting two and two together. And then an investigation was brought on to try to watch Kristen. So you know what Kristen did, you guys? She called in a bomb threat to her job in order to try to derail the investigation. Like the same exact things that she was doing as a teenager, habitually lying. She used to do bomb threats as a teenager as well. And the suicide attempts, all of that stuff started to come back into her life. And she started to do these things again. And you guys, as soon as she realized that the investigation was getting closer and closer and people were starting to point out things that she was doing wrong, she ended up quitting. Now, when she quit, you guys, in the course of a couple months, she checked herself into a mental house over seven times. So you guys, I honestly think that Kristen was suffering from a mental, you know, illness, but she probably didn't know. Like I said, this was the 90s, late 80s. She probably really didn't know what was going on with herself. But you guys, she kept checking herself. But you know what else I thought about? She could have been checking herself into these mental um, hospitals as well as kind of like a plea. So if she was charged with anything with the deaths of these um, veterans, then she could say, well, I was insane or I was mentally incapable of making the right decisions. Now, the thing that bothers me is she graduated from college. She was able to get a nursing license, a nursing degree and all of that. 
but still she suffered from a lot of mental disabilities. Miss of Kristen literally being investigated at the BA, do you know this woman found the time to have an affair with the security guard at the hospital? Now, Kristen and her husband, um, Glenn, they had kids. So when Kristen started to have an affair with a man at the hospital, she ended up leaving her kids and her husband and going to get her own apartment while she was dating the security guard at the hospital. Like, I cannot make this up. This woman was so selfish it did not make sense. Now, the investigation is going on. Like I said, she quit her job, but they go ahead and they indict her on the bomb threats. And she is charged with making the bomb threats at the VA because you guys, that is a very serious offense. So after being charged with making the bomb threats, she was convicted and she was sentenced to 15 months in prison. But you guys, let's be real. That was not the most serious thing out of all of this stuff. Now, it's being said that she was injecting patients with a lethal dose of epinephrine. Now, it's being said that she caused the death of a man named Henry, Kenneth, and Edward. Now, it's saying that she also attempted two murders of patients by the name of Thomas and Angelo. So, what's so crazy is she was also being charged in the death of a patient by the name of Stanley. So, it was over six people that they knew for sure that she tried to kill or she killed. Now, we don't know what was going on in her mind. We don't know why she did this to the patients, you guys. All the investigators know was it was her. Like why every patient that you had, they were just dying of the same thing. And the um, epinephrine was just coming up short, like it was missing. And that's something that was only used in serious situations. Now, her trial started in November of 2000, you guys. And prosecutors basically went with the motive of she did, she did this for attention because you have to remember growing up, she did things for attention. Like she um, tried to commit suicide seven times, but they found out that that was fake. She really just did it to get people's attention. She calls in these bomb threats. Like she does all of this stuff just to get attention from people. Now, not only that, they also were saying that she did this as well in order to get rid of the patient so that she could spend more time with the security guard that she was having an affair with. Because you have to remember, she has kids at home. She has a husband at home and she's a full-time registered nurse. So she needed time in order to be with that security guard. Now, the trial went on and in 2001, she was found guilty of all of these murders. Now, it's being said that over half of the 350 people who died at the VA in the seven years that she worked there, they died under her care. So that's like a hundred and something people that literally died under her care. So she could have killed way more than six or seven people. It's very 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 obvious that she killed a lot of people now i always say what makes me so sick in life is people who abuse kids and people who mistreat elderly people so the fact that you were injecting these people who went and fought for us like veterans bro you injected them with this medicine that slowly killed them just because you wanted attention like that is beyond sick to me and i honestly feel like she should have been put in a mental institution to get help way younger like she was in and out of mental houses but you guys she was doing it for attention she wasn't doing it for the help and i'm so surprised that nobody kept her and was like look this girl is not in her right mind we need to keep her and not only that she's working around patients like how do you let somebody go that long working around patients knowing that they've been in and out of mental homes like i don't understand that now, Kristen, she was found guilty, you guys, and she was sentenced to four life sentences. She dodged the death penalty. I don't know how, but she was sentenced to four life sentences. Now, she did go up for appeal, but then she dropped that appeal, and now she's serving her time at a federal um, institute in Texas. Now, you guys, this whole story, it was so crazy to me because... I can't understand why people have to ruin other people's lives just for their own happiness and their own satisfaction. Like I never understand people who kill their kids and then kill themselves or kill, kill their spouse and then kill themselves. Like I don't get that. Like if you're going through something, like do it to yourself. Like I know that kind of sounds harsh, but my thing is why did you have to kill all of these patients? Like why couldn't you just 
do something to yourself or you know just go away leave your kids with your husband go live your life you don't have to kill people in order to have an affair like that was just so bizarre to me all right you guys so that's the end of that story that's all i have for you guys today now you guys if you don't already follow me on instagram go hit me up on instagram at big draco b-i-g-g-d-r-a-c-c-o and you guys hit up that TikTok at the same exact thing, Big Draco, you guys. And make sure you like, subscribe. And y'all DM me if y'all have anything that y'all want to talk about. If it's a story that you want me to cover, don't hesitate to DM me on Instagram. And that's all I have for you guys today. Bye.